a moment, read this problem, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so it says here that Anne has a coin. She does not know if it is a fair coin. She flipped the coin 100 times, okay, and obtained 73 heads and 27 tails. And that, if you ever flipped a coin before, you, you would expect about 50-50. So right away, this seems a little bit off. But the nice thing about this problem, aside from being really long-winded, I suppose, and not really my favorite problem, is that it reminds us that we can answer the question is... Uh, ask the question, is this so unfair that the, something's wrong with the coin, right? Is this coin actually not a fair coin? Or is this just something you could expect to happen occasionally when flipping a coin? So what she does to figure this out is she runs a computer simula simulation of 200 samples of 100 fair coin flips. So if you have a fair coin, flip it 100 times. That's one experiment. Do it 200 times, and th this is what you get, right? This is the data from a fair coin being flipped. And you can see that the there are 200 samples. The mean's about 0.497. It's about 0.5, which you expect on a coin. The standard deviation is 0.05. So 0.05 above and 0.05 below captures a really low, large portion of the data. And you can even see that that's kind of happening. You know, here is 0.497. It's about your mean right here. You can see that most of your data is uh, within this window here, and if I estimate uh, about 0.05, I get uh, plus 0.49, I get uh, 0.54, so about here, and then subtract 0.05, that's about 0.044, uh, four, so it's about here. So within one standard deviation, you get a large chunk of your data, right? That's the most common uh, things you might expect. And then as you move out in other standard deviations, uh, here's another one right here, another 0.05, another 0.05. You're getting even more of the data. There's a little outlier over here, right? So, sorry, so 0, um, 0 0.05 away from this, 0.04, and then 0 .4. so about here. That's about two standard deviations, and then we have some outliers over here, but nowhere. So that's a really low. This is 35% chance, 35 flips are getting ahead, but nowhere do we get a 73-27 split. Right? In fact, the highest we ever get is about 60% or so. So you can you can infer that this is not a fair coin because uh, this is just not happening at all in the simulation. And, of course, you could say the coin is fair. In other words, you think this could happen, but it's very unlikely. That's what you're, you're seeing right here. And then if you look at choices one and two, you can see they're kind of absurd. 73 of the computer's next 100 coin flips will be heads. It's not at all what this is saying in any way whatsoever and 50 of her next 100 coin flips will be heads. Um, you can't say that exactly, right? Uh, that's only an approximation. If it is a fair coin, you could say that. So it's kind of like a double answer of choice four, so you can kind of eliminate both two and four. They're both discussing a situation where the coin's kind of fair. Not exactly 50 flips, but about 50. And the only reasonable choice left is choice three, that the coin is not fair. All right, hope this helped.